Let's start with clicking on the animation you found online that you've pulled into Unity. As you see, it looks pretty cool, but the camera is moving with it, and this means the file has root motion. Oops, nearly forgot. First of all, make sure to set the animation to humanoid and apply create from this model. Go to the animation tab and scroll down. Use the settings as seen on the screen. Basically, everything should have the bake interpose toggle set to true, and the based upon original toggle as well. Occasionally, center of mass gives better results. The red light on the loop match means the animation won't loop properly, but it's okay, we will fix that. Some people have said you can just toggle loop time and loop pose on and it will remove the root motion, but I don't like the results. I'm going to show you a better way, so leave both options off. By the way, have you ever used masking? Quite handy if you want to get animations with one arm not moving for example, or open hands instead of clutched ones. You cannot really see the effects clearly in this example, as the animation is too fast. Anyway, hit apply. Now open up the original file by clicking on the arrow to the right. You cannot edit this file, which is read-only, but within the file you'll see a triangle with a hamburger menu, three lines, this is an anim file. Click on it, and hit Ctrl plus D. It will now duplicate externally, and the copy will be editable. You can rename the new file now, or later, and delete the first file. We only need the raw data now, not the other stuff. OK, proceed by clicking on the anim file you just made, and make sure you have the animation window open somewhere. If you don't you can press Ctrl plus 6 to open one. Next step is we're going to remove all the keyframes in the root transform. Drag the scrollbar down until you find animator.roott. Starting from the right hand side, marquee every keyframe except the first keyframe on roott.x. Press delete. Do the same for roott.z. Voila! You have now removed the root motion. Bonus tip. Did you know that you can now use the anim file and drag it into any other Unity project you have? You cannot drag it directly, but if you copy the file itself and put it somewhere in your new projects folder, it will appear and you can use it as a retarget for any humanoid models you have. It's not a safe practice to force Unity to load objects through the file system, as it can create meta file issues, but if you then copy the file and delete the old one, Unity should automatically create a new meta file that will correctly reference the animation. Thanks and see you next tutorial. This is Evil Chris, signing out.